Hi again, this is Jen Dev, Digital Media Associate at the Columbia Journalism School. And in the last tutorial, I was showing you how to set up your folder structure and import clips into Premiere. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some basic editing in Premiere. So we have our project open, and we've already imported our files, meaning this private folder that we moved over from our SD card. For the purposes of this tutorial, I just simply moved all the files that are in the private bin to the project panel so we can see them easily. But normally, these would be inside your private folder, just so there's no confusion. Now, let me give you a quick tour of the interface. So this is our project panel. This is where all the clips that you import or folders that you import will show up, as well as any sequences that you're working on. Above it is the source monitor. So whenever I double click on a clip here in the project panel, it'll show up in the source monitor and I can then play it, pause it, select parts of it that I want to use and move them over into the timeline. This is the timeline, so this is where we'll be creating our sequence. Um, as you can see, we have several video tracks and several audio tracks that we can use to start layering and creating our video. And above it we have our program monitor, and this is going to play the video that you've created in your timeline. So let's start with the basics. To play a clip, I'm going to double click on a clip, let's say this one, and it's going to appear up here in your source monitor. To play it and pause it, I can use the controls here, or I can simply use the space bar. So I'm going to press the space bar now. I mean, it's not, it, could, it might not be less. And I'm going to pause that again. You can also scrub through the clip by just grabbing the playhead and moving it left and right. And that can help you move through it quickly and decide which part of the video that you want to use. Now, you may want to rename your clips. As you can see, they default to being named by number. Here I've renamed the first clip. And let's rename a couple other clips. I'm going to click on the clip that I want to rename and I'm going to go up here and click clip rename and I'm going to call this um, walkway wide shot. So I like to, when I rename my clips I like to add whether it's a wide shot, a medium shot, or a close up. That helps me in my editing when I want to choose what kind of shot I need. So now we've renamed our clips. And you can go ahead and do that for any other clips, or all the clips if you prefer. Um, now it's important to note that changing the name of the clip here in Premiere does not actually change the name of the clip in your original folder, the source file. It's just renaming it here in Premiere. The other way that you can rename a clip is simply to double click on its name and then type it in. So that's the easier way of doing it. But whichever way you prefer is fine. Okay. Now let's say you have a really large clip and you want to break it down into smaller pieces for editing purposes. Maybe you shot, you know, a 10 minute clip or a 20 minute clip. What you can do is create subclips from the original file. So this is really useful to help break your files up into smaller pieces and you can then use your pieces in your sequence. So I'm going to double click a clip in the project panel to open it in the source monitor. Let's say this one here. And now I'm going to choose the part that I want to make a subclip by setting in and out points. And to do that, I'm just going to hit I and O on my keyboard. So let's press play on this by using the spacebar. So let's say I want my clip to start there. I'm going to hit I on my keyboard to set an endpoint, and as you can see, it highlights the rest of the clip now. So now I'm going to play it again and select the point that I want the subclip to end. Okay. 
And let's say I want that clip to end when he walks out of the frame. So now I'm just going to hit O, and you can see my selection is highlighted in green. Now I can go to Clip, Make Subclip, and it's going to ask me to type in a name. I like to include the original file name in my subclip name just so I don't forget it's the subclip of something else. So I'm going to call this uh, Upstairs. Wide shot. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I have my subclip appear here in the project panel along with all of my regular clips. Now let's put clips into our timeline. There are a couple ways that I can do that. I can drag an entire clip over from the project panel by just clicking and dragging it into my timeline. You'd probably want to do this with a subclip. So I'm just going to click and drag this here into my timeline and it's going to appear on my video one track. The other way I can do it is play a clip, put in and out points as if I were to make a subclip, but then just click and drag that down into my timeline. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to play this in my source monitor, and I'm going to select in and out points. So this is going to be my in point. And that'll be my out point. Now instead of making a subclip, I'm just going to click right here, and I'm going to drag that down into my timeline. So that's the other way you can put things in your timeline. Now I'm going to drag several clips over so I can start building my sequence. So let's see what I want to use. Maybe one of these. So I'm just going to move that over, and I'm going to hit I to create an endpoint. And O to create an out point, and I'm going to click and drag it down again. And let's do one last clip, maybe one of these. And remember, I can always grab the playhead and scrub through it if it's going too slow for me. So I think I want it to start here. And I just want it to end there. So I'm just going to, again, click and drag it over into my timeline. So now I have four clips in my timeline. What I want to do now is arrange them in order of sequence. So he's walking up and into the building, so I want to reflect that order. So using the selection tool, I'm just going to click and rearrange my clips. I can just click and move them. So this comes before this clip, and then this clip, and this clip. Follow. So I'm just going to you see there's a playhead here in the timeline as well. I'm just going to press um, the space bar again to play and pause it, and it'll show up here in my program monitor. So let's see what we have so far. Oh, and there was a little gap there. Now those two are out of order. So to select one or more clips, you can click outside of the clips and drag a little box around them, and that helps you select multiple clips. And I'm just going to move these over. To zoom into the timeline, I can press the plus button on my keyboard, and to zoom out, I can press the minus button. So I'm going to zoom in a little, and I'm just going to move this clip over, and now they should be in order. Now you remember how there was that little gap earlier. What happened was I didn't have the clips snap together. You see these little arrows that show up when two clips come together? That means that the edges have perfectly aligned. So you want that to happen. 
So I'm going to zoom in just so you can see the clips and I'm going to put the playhead at the beginning of the clip and we're going to press play. Okay, so it's not bad, but we can definitely trim it down a bit. So I want to show you some other tools that we can use. The main tools that you'll be using in your edits is going, are going to be the razor tool and the trim tool. So to select the razor tool, I can either click it here or I can press C for cut. That's an easy way to remember it. And let's say I want to trim a bit of the first clip. Let's see how long it is. The first clip isn't actually bad. I'm going to trim the first part of the second clip here. So let's say I want to cut off this first part. I'm just going to click the razor blade where I want to cut it, and it's divided this clip into two pieces. Now I can go over and select my selection tool, or the shortcut for that is V, and I can simply click on that clip and hit delete. And now I'm going to, again using my selection tool, move this clip over, make it snap, and let's see what we have. I'm going to press play. And that's much better, right? Now the other tool we want to use is the trim tool. This doesn't actually show up here in this toolbar, but when you hover over a clip on the beginning and end of a clip, these arrow, this little red arrow appears, and that's the trim tool. And what it allows you to do is either shorten the clip, so I'm just going to click and drag in, and see how the clip is shortening? You can also extend the clip by doing the same thing. So I'm just going to click and extend the clip out. So let's say I want to trim this third clip a little bit. Let's see where we can shorten it a bit. So I'm just going to make it snap to the previous clip. So I can probably trim a little bit of that beginning. So I'm just going to click here and drag it in a bit. And now back to my selection tool and I'll move it over. So let's see how that works. Good. And I'm going to trim the end of this a bit as well. And now, again, with my selection tool, I'll just move this last clip over. So with these basic tools, we have created a short sequence in Premiere. It could use a little bit more editing, but it gives you the general idea of how you can start constructing a sequence. So let's play through it one final time. And there you have it. So you've created a short sequence in Premiere. So just remember to name your clips, make subclips, and use the razor and the trim tools to create your sequence.